Hello, everybody. This is Sarah from Bay Area Wellness, where we help you to have less pain, more energy, and live a more joyful life. Today, we are talking about stress, what it looks like, what it feels like, and what we can do about it. So my husband and I are remodeling our bathroom right now. We only have a one bathroom house. So this is quite a project. It's been terrible so far. And fortunately, we have really great neighbors. So that's been wonderful. But it got me thinking, I handle stress a lot differently than most people. And it's really important that we handle it in a good way. When we're going through difficult seasons, the better we're able to handle stress, the better we're able to handle that situation. And so it's important that we handle it healthy. Okay. We handle it well. And um, no matter what that kind of stressful season is, okay, maybe you're going through a remodel. Maybe you have a strained relationship with a child or your spouse or parent. Maybe you, um, somebody's sick in your house and maybe there's just things going on that aren't going your way. And um, maybe you have a project. It can be anything really, but we go through stressful seasons in life and it's important that we recognize how that feels in our body. So for some people, it feels like a panic attack. They feel like their heart is racing and they have a tight chest or they're shaking, different things like that. Um, for me, it feels like migraines. For some people, it feels like neck pain or back pain. For my mom, she gets this pain in her shoulder. It can be anything. Um, for a lot of people, it looks like digestive issues, right? We kind of have this spectrum between constipation and diarrhea, and it's difficult to find balance in the middle. Um, and stress definitely makes that worse. So I encourage you to take a look at your life and see what that looks like to you. Now, some people are like, oh, I handle stress great. I am fantastic at stress. The more stress I have, the better I am. And that's really the exception to the rule. I, and I encourage you, instead of um, just wearing that badge of honor, just to dig into that a little bit. And what does it really look like for you? And what does it feel like? Um, because I know that I am a person, I go, go, go all the time. And um, then when I start to feel that stress, I get a little headache. And then if I ignore it, I am in bed all day with the lights off and a cold pack on my head because my migraine is so bad, I can't move, right? So I learned to deal with this a long time ago, and I haven't had a migraine in a long time, but mine was completely um, as a result of stress. And so it's important that we realize those symptoms, what it is, and that, hey, I'm really stressed out right now. I just have this weird thing in my elbow. Do you think those are connected? Yes, those are connected. And if you can address the stress, the weird thing in your elbow will go away, and you'll be able to handle the situation a lot better. So what do we do about it? Okay, so we're having stress. Obviously, the easiest way, we can't always avoid the situation. The easiest way to do, to go through that stress is to just power down and go through it. So what do we actually do when we feel that pain or when we feel those digestive issues or when we feel the headache or um, whatever it is? So I have six things for you today that are really going to help. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you're maintaining a healthy diet. That means don't stress eat, and also you need to be eating healthy food. So we either stress eat or we stop eating all together, and that's not good. You need to make sure that you're eating a healthy balance of carbs, protein, and fats. And so that is really important. Keep eating, um, eat healthy foods, and that will be a huge, huge contribution to um, to a healthy, healthy body. And so the other thing is make sure to drink your water. When we're super busy, we forget to drink that water. Remember, we have that water worksheet that will help you never forget to drink your water again. Be sure that you're using that. Make sure to download that. I'll post the link below. Tip number three is to continue exercising. So when we are stressed out, remember our adrenaline level or epinephrine in our body goes up, 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 up. It kind of compounds. And what we need to do is bring it back down. The easiest way to do that is exercise, okay? So when we go up, exercise will help us bring, it, bring that level back down to normal. And that is really important, especially as we're going through those hard seasons. Now, maybe it's only lasting two days. Maybe it's lasting two weeks or two months, but that is really, really important. Number four is unwinding, okay? This is when we sort of go into a forward fold, reach down, touch your toes, and feel just your body. You're giving into a rhythm, whatever it feels like for you. I always go into a figure eight, 
yours can be different. Um, whatever feels good, you just move in that way. Um, okay, number four is going to be rebounding. This is a really fun one. Our body's 80% water, okay? So imagine you have a pan and there's water in your pan. And as you're walking, that water slashes and slashes and slashes and slashes. This is my pan, if you couldn't tell. I know, great visual. So um, since our body's so much water, we can do this. So I encourage you to lay down on your bed and just feel yourself moving back and forth and back and forth. And you'll begin to feel that water sort of sloshing back and forth. And it's just a really great way to sort of break up the adhesions, break up that um, tension that we have, whether it be in our muscles or in our fascia. Remember that's the connective tissue that holds us all together, it surrounds all of our muscles and organs. Um, and so that's another really great way to do that. Um, the other thing, if your budget allows, is get a massage, get a manicure, a pedicure, a facial, something to show yourself some love, to show yourself some self-care. If you can't, if your budget doesn't allow, do those things at home. It's super easy. Um, you can buy the stuff at the dollar store and it all, it all feels great and it's good to give yourself some self-care. Um, and so the last and final thing is make sure to get outside, enjoy that sun, enjoy that fresh air. You can always combine this with your exercise, but it's really important to make sure that you're spending time for yourself. Okay. Now this doesn't have to be an hour. If you've got sick babies or some, something going on, some crisis, I'm not expecting you to, um, take an hour out and go to the gym or anything like that. Just take a few minutes for yourself and make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Because if you don't take care of yourself, that crisis, that problem, that trauma, whatever it is, is going to be a lot worse. And if you can carve out five minutes here and 20 minutes there every single day to give to, to give yourself some love, that whole situation is going to be a lot better. Okay. So I encourage you to do that. Be sure to download our water worksheet. The um, link is below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Talk soon.